An ABC 17 storm track weather alert day goes into effect tomorrow morning as I'm tracking the potential for some light snowfall accumulation and strong winds. It'll bring in some very cold temperatures that stick around for through the weekend into early next week. We're likely going to see about an inch or so of snowfall accumulation, but the bigger thing tomorrow night will be lower visibility and slick roads due to rapidly cooling temperatures. We'll see wind chills down to around negative 10 by Saturday morning thanks to wind gusts that could pick up to around 40 miles per hour. Here's what we're tracking tonight. Low pressure to our south and then off to our north. We'll be watching both of these systems heading back in our direction and we're watching that snowfall that could impact portions of northern Missouri into this evening. Here's a look at our ABC 17 storm track future track at midnight. Showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms moving through the area as we see temperatures right around 40 degrees. By tomorrow morning, showers will continue for eastern areas uh, east of Highway 63 through about mid-morning. And then as colder air rushes in, we'll see that change from rain to snow by around 9 or 10 o'clock for areas along Highway 63. Now getting into the rest of our Friday, we'll start to see that snow exit by late afternoon. Snow showers wrapping around that low pressure as temperatures start to drop. We could see temperatures as low as the upper teens by late afternoon. Strong winds will continue overnight and I'll be tracking those overnight lows dipping down into the single digits by Saturday morning. We will see wind chills dropping below zero for the start of Saturday. Saturday afternoon looking dry but cold as we only make it to the low teens and for Sunday morning likely falling below zero for the overnight lows. Here's how much snow we can expect generally right around an inch or just a bit less for most areas with the exception of locations just north of Highway 36. We could pick up two to four inches there. Here's a look at the winds that we can expect through the next 24 to 36 hours. Hours. Gusts will start picking up tomorrow, especially as we get past the lunch hour. We could see gusts up to around 40 to 45 miles per hour continuing throughout the night, making that visibility low as the snow will be blowing around. Strong winds continue into Saturday, and that will bring our wind chills below zero through much of the day. And we don't really see much easing of the winds until Saturday night. Here's what to expect with our temperatures dropping each day throughout the weekend. We will see highs only around 4 degrees on Sunday, but it feels like around negative 25 or so in the morning and Monday morning even colder in some spots. We're dropping down to about seven degrees for that overnight low negative 20 to 25 for those morning feels like temperatures. Here's our ABC 17 storm track seven day forecast. That weather alert day is going to continue for those dangerously cold temperatures as we head through Wednesday morning. But from there we start to gradually warm back up afternoon temperatures back into the low 30s by Wednesday.